Space.com is talking with NOAA researcher Matt Siebold about the GOES-S satellite launching March 1st, which will give scientists an incredible view of weather brewing on Earth. So tell me about the satellite. The GOES-S weather satellite is a really a technological marvel. It brings forth amazing satellite observation capabilities. Um, it's going to be operating in concert with its predecessor, which is positioned as GOES East. And together, GOES S and GOES East will be able to provide coverage of uh, the hemisphere, including areas of both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. So we get ocean to ocean coverage from the uh, west coast of Africa all the way over to New Zealand. And uh, what these observations uh, provide is enhanced imagery that's rapidly refreshing and it's at a very high resolution. And this enables uh, forecasters to provide better predictions and ultimately to issue uh, more accurate warnings and forecasts. So it's, is it just like a really high resolution image or are there other kinds of observations being taken as well? Right, so on board the spacecraft, we actually have six different instruments on board. Uh, the primary instrument is an imager, which ta is taking uh, imagery of the Earth constantly. Uh, it's, it has three times the spectral bands that its predecessor satellites had. It, uh, it updates at four times the, 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 the spatial resolution, and it has five times the amount of uh, refresh data. Also on board is a lightning mapper, the first of its kind from a geostationary orbit, uh, which enables uh, continuous, uh, continuous observation of lightning conditions, which is important for forecasts regarding severe weather. And then the satellite is also equipped uh, with four instruments dedicated to space weather conditions. Two of those instruments observe the sun continuously, and two are monitoring the conditions around the spacecraft itself. Okay, so back at Earth, can you talk about how this will be particularly helpful for extreme weather? Yes, so for extreme weather, and in fact, we're already seeing uh, benefits uh, from the GOES-S predecessor, which is, is, is positioned over the East Coast now, uh, in particular with uh, hurricanes. Uh, you'll remember Hurricane Harvey, uh, which made landfall in Texas and just brought in incredible amounts of total rainfall. Uh, when uh, Harvey was making landfall, uh, decision makers using data provided by uh, GOES-S technology were able to evacuate 200 people out of the Corpus Christi area. Uh, they were able to actually monitor the progress of the eye wall over the local area and make decisions about when it would be safe to move people to, to higher and safer grounds. Uh, so we expect to be seeing these types of benefits uh, in, in duplicate with the addition of GOES-S to this uh, GOES constellation. So what kind of extreme weather can you actually see with GOES-S? In addition uh, to uh, some of the uh, important weather phenomena such as hurricanes and severe weather, it's also able to track uh, the ignition and onset of wildfire and the smoke that's caused by them. We've already seen direct benefits uh, where the spacecraft is seeing the progression of wildfire and the change of direction of it. And we've been able to inform uh, emergency responders before they even received 911 calls about the existence of these fires uh, so that they're able to ensure uh, people can move to safer locations. In addition to wildfire, uh, the satellite also monitors sea, for sea surface temperatures. It monitors uh, uh, um, uh, volcanic ash plumes, uh, snow cover, um, there really is a portfolio of, of approximately two dozen science data sets, uh, which are all extremely valuable. Is there anything else you'd like to add about the satellite? Yeah, I'd like to add that you can follow our progress with GOES-S uh, through the Twitter handle, at NOAA Satellites. Uh, if you follow through that site, you'll be able to see our progress on the day of launch, as well as through May when we have our first glimpses of imagery from the satellite and then follow uh, the spacecraft's success in monitoring environmental hazards uh, into the future for decades to come.